They're saying he's clear out on the floor. They gave a technical foul to Coach Shelsky. For coming out on the floor? Yep. Did, it, did he, had they given him a warning already? I didn't see nope. that. Didn't give him a warning. No, they, they don't said, have to. They don't have to. Sometimes they, they do. They clear out. Interesting. And again, it's stepping the line, Javon Buchanan. Averaging 21.9 points a game. That's an interesting call, yeah. Herb. And I'm telling you what, Buchanan... Buchanan looks like the real deal to me. I mean, like, he, he is one of the best I've ever seen. And he just kicked out Coach Shelsky. Wow. So Coach Shelsky just got teed, and he's out of the ball game. He'll have to take a seat in the locker room. Wow. So they've just booted Coach Shelsky out of the gym. So they kick him out again. So according to the rules, he has to leave. He cannot come back out on the floor. That'll give another couple of free throws in the process of this one. And with that, a timeout's been called. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll take one as well. You're watching Indiana Sports Network. The city of Brazil was founded in 1866. By 1876, there were two schools, seven dry goods stores, two hardware stores, four churches, and five drug stores. One of those drug stores is still there today, Lynn's Pharmacy. Lynn's Pharmacy has grown from a small neighborhood drugstore to a modern pharmacy, offering prescriptions and medical equipment with old-fashioned values and unparalleled service. You can even step back in time and visit Lynn's Soda Parlor here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. It could be anyone. The star student. The all-state athlete. I never thought it could happen to me, that I could lose everything. I found help. I found hope. I found recovery. I regained something lost. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. So as we said, it gets a little bit crazy at certain points. They're talking to Buchanan, who has multiple free throws coming up here. There are three more free throws coming up. He's had two. So he gets two more after this. Oh and what God. they were for was for the three-point play. Uh -huh. So he's got one for the three-point play, and he's their designated free throw shooter on the technical foul. Wow. And with that, not only does this, but they get the basketball as well. He missed one out of them. Could have had five points on this one. Instead, right now, they have scored six points this trip down the floor. It was 12-7 to when they got yeah. possession of the basketball. Buchanan scored. And went to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Coach Shelsky <laughs> gets booted out of the ball game. And four free throws later, after those technical free throws and the extra one on the, the made attempt, Lafayette jumped for the basketball one more time. Reese in the corner, kicked it back out to Spencer, puts the shot up, doesn't get it, rebound, no good, and... Tipped around, picked up by Christian Johnson. And Christian can show athletic ability. He's as good as anybody on the floor, that's for sure. Outside, Harper with a pump. And look to drive, can't get it done. Christian Johnson has a chance on this one. Backs him down, pumps, kicks it out to Wood. Noble in the lane, pumped. He walked with it, but he got the ball back. The ball back to Gooch. Puts it up, can't get it to go, rebound, and it's Eddie Reese. You can see frustration really building uh, for Park Heritage right now. But Lafayette Jeff is a, is a really solid ball club. They are. And we've watched a lot of basketball at different levels. One of the better high school teams we've seen in, in the last few years for us, anyhow. Eddie Reese scores that one. It's 20 to 7. Lafayette Jeff with the lead. Uh, you know, the uh, uh, game, uh, the last game of the season for Lafayette she at Jeff will be at Terre Haute North. 
Maybe oh. we got to talk to Tony Hawk about trying to pick that <laughs> game up. We got a foul there as Noble Johnson tried to make a drive. But, I, I, you know, I'm trying to think as far as the road schedule. Um, that, I believe, might be around the time of conference tournament. But we'll have to check schedule on that. Kick inside to Noble. He'll try to turn the corner, gets the baseline. Open look for Harper in the corner. Can't get it to fall. And it's out of bounds. bounds. And Park Hedge will keep possession. Last uh, game of the regular season, Friday, the February 18th. Boy, so the next week, that, that Friday will be conference tournament. So, oh, man. That's too bad. You never know. Well, well you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you said a lot right there, there Herb. <laughs> Two of the premier athletes in this area, Johnson and Buchanan. And I can say that because Christian Johnson has been the All-State quarterback. And, yeah, he wants to play football, but he's an excellent basketball player. There's a rocking three. He can't get it. Harper Good. tried to grab yeah. the rebound, and again, Eddie Reese with another solid rebound. Eddie's averaging 10.6 off the bench. Just so Reese is a size. solid pivot player. And you put Buchanan, there's Reese, and they're going to call the over the back. Yep. And uh, he, he you know, kind of gave a little bit of a nudge. Didn't probably need to, uh, but he got called for that foul. It's going to be team foul number seven. Yep, here we go. Shooting free throws. There we go. 13 point lead. It's 20 to 7. As Lafayette Jeff took control of this one off of the free throws, yeah, the it was foul. 12 to 7. Two technical fouls. Coach Shelsky is sent to the showers. And 20 to 7 is our score. Noble Johnson back to the line. Boy, he really needs to knock down a pair here. Doesn't get him. And the rebound comes out to Owen Linder. You can it again. Right inside. And the uh, attempted dunk, but he didn't have to do it. He just kind of maneuvered that one in. And it's 22 to 7. On the outside, again, trapped. Wood looking for somebody to throw the ball to. Gets it over to Gooch. Gooch back to Johnson. You know, Park Hero just really is a hard team to trap. They've seen a lot of pressure before. But they handle it uh, pretty well. Move the ball pretty well. Outside, Johnson, Noble. Ah. Gets it stolen away. Buchanan with the steal. That's a good foul. And a foul on the outside as Noble Johnson gets called for one. That's his second foul on the team foul number six. So it'll be sideline out of bounds. Uh, stops the transition. Uh, wasn't an intentional type of foul. Just kind of bodied him a little bit. So stop that transition bucket from happening. We have seen our first junior for Lafayette Jefferson. How about that? Hannon, number 20, has the basketball in front. The rest of these guys for Jefferson are seniors, and they play like it. As good as you're going to find it. And they haven't shot the ball extremely well, uh, Jefferson, as a team. But they're so long and so athletic. And they're physical yeah. as well. Outside. Again, a miss by Williams, pick up by Johnson. Johnson will take him to the basket, and he'll get the foul called on Williams. And uh, that's going to be number uh, three on Armani Williams as he kind of swiped, uh, and Christian Johnson uh, got hit with the uh, arm, or got hit on the arm, I should say. He's going to get to the free throw line once again as Park Herod is just, uh, just having a hard time here against this length, uh, this athleticism of the Lafayette Chef. And again, free throws have not been kind no. to Park Heritage. Loose back into the ball game. He'll replace Gooch. Park Heritage as a team shooting 61% from the free throw line. You got to up that percentage. You got to at least give uh, a plus 70. You know, just 70%. 61% just, just is not going to get it done. 22 to 8. 126 left to go here in the first half. Back outside, Land Linder gave it up to Buchanan. Therese in the corner, shots up, no good. Rebound, tipped out of bounds, but they're going to say it went off of number 10. That's Owen Linder. 
So, you know, you, again, Park Heritage had a really rough time scoring. Yeah, they really are. There's eight points in um, 15 minutes of play, basically. Uh, not exactly what you would expect to see from Park Heritage, but once again, the length is uh, for the first time Lafayette Jeffco's man. But the length that you see should be a count here. <laughs> They're trying, but he's watching the officials. See yeah, if he does yeah. count. I was waiting for the official to start the count. He, he's close enough, I thought, but nonetheless, the, just the length of, of Lafayette Jeff and the athleticism. Those two, some teams have length but not athleticism. Some have athleticism but not length. This team has both and adds skill in there as well. In a premier player. Uh, with Buchanan, so that's a, that's a lot. It's a tall order uh, for any team trying to uh, uh, play the Broncos. Holding it for the last shot. We're at 15 seconds left to go in the half. Don't be surprised if we see a trap here. Nope. 10 seconds. Shots yeah. up. And he got it to go. Scores the two points. It's 22 to 10 as we go into halftime. A 12 point Lafayette Jeff lead. And we'll be back for more in our halftime show here on Indiana Sports Network. Welcome to Sonic. May I take your order? One grape cheeseburger. I'm on it. Grape cheeseburger almost ready. On my way. Someone pass me the grape sauce. Almost ready on the burger. One Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. pain meds too quickly. I took more and more to get through my day. I did anything to get them. I needed help. I needed hope. I found them both. Professional. Safe. No wait times. Quality treatment. Regain something lost. Call or go to winrecovery.org. It's time for the Halftime Report on the Indiana Sports Network. And welcome back to Rockville, Indiana, the home of the Park Heritage Wolves with the Wolf Den, where it's 22 to 10. And uh, it's been raucous, just not the way Park Heritage has wanted to see it. No, it really has. And this is a, a, to a formidable opponent tonight, a very uh, a tall order when you're going to play Lafayette, Jeff, not just uh, theoretically, uh, but physically. There's a couple of guys that... Uh, taller than uh, anybody that you uh, have on, in, on your roster and, and just boy, and they're skilled Lafayette Jeff played really good defense in that first half kept Park Heritage to 10 points five in the first five in the second very uh, uh, great defensive performance there in in that uh, first half and really and from what I saw just one mistake by Lafayette Jeff giving up that three-pointer by uh, Christian Johnson, he was open on the rotation. Other than that, um, pretty much flawless defensive effort uh, by Lafayette. Of course, uh, Coach uh, Coach Ron Heiser won't say that. He'll say that you know he'll find 17 things that he would like them to do better. That's just what that's what you coaches are supposed to do. Uh, but it, it, and I know he would praise this team as well. So I don't want to make it seem like he's a oh screws. I don't want to say it like that. But he'll praise the team as well. But uh, for, for my uh, untrained eyes that have never seen them before, uh, this one defensive lapse and, and been very solid throughout. 
they're the real deal. I, yeah. I think they can make a real run in the tournament from what I've seen here. Um, and again, we've seen some good basketball throughout this year. Um, and it will be interesting to see what the ball game at the end of the season is going to be like between Terre Haute North and Lafayette Jeff. I think that'll it be is. a great ball game. I, 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 yeah, I do as well. Um, depending on how things work out, I'd love to be able to pick that game up if, if we're available that night. Uh, but uh, Terre Haute North uh, having that game uh, at home uh, into the regular season for both teams. Uh, nice tune-up before you get uh, to sectional play. And both of those teams are going to be in incredibly tough sectionals. So that'll be a good tune-up for both teams. So it, but anyway, uh, it should be a great game at that point. But Lafayette, Jeff, I just, I, boy, I'm just, I'm impressed um, by the, like I said, the attention to detail defensively um, and the communication of being able to switch on some of the handoffs, been trapped in the right spots. I'm um, just make it tough for Park Heritage. And if you're looking at the score, 22-10, you're thinking everybody's stalling. It's not a stall. No. No. There's been good defense played both sides. Both teams moving the ball very well. They are. Park Heritage has had trouble with stopping Lafayette Jeff only on, and I'm going to say, secondary fast breaks or fast break opportunities. That's where the fouls have been drawn and the shots have been taken. And, and as well, when Coach Shelsky picked up those two technical fouls, yeah. there's an extra four points on the score. It should be about 18-10. Instead, now it's 22-10. And with that advantage for uh, Lafayette, Jeff, they play differently. They, they do. And uh, whenever you're playing from ahead like that, it just uh, makes a, a big difference. It makes a big difference when you're playing ahead like that. And, um, you know, when you have the advantage um, and then you can play from ahead, you kind of can play a little bit more relaxed, uh, not pressing. Uh, you can uh, just play as you normally do, have your guys uh, not try to do something outside of what uh, they're intended to do on the court, and, and everybody fitting together like they're supposed to. So it's easy to do that when you're playing uh, with a little bit of a cushion lead. Six of the points from uh, Lafayette and Jeff coming from the free throw line, you mentioned those technical fouls. Uh, they did miss uh, one free throw off of that, but... Um, six of those points, six points from the other 22 coming from the free throw line. With that opportunity, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back for the start of the second half. Again, you're watching Park Heritage Basketball on Indiana Sports Network. If I crave something, I have to have it. So what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. Wherever life takes you. Whatever stage. Anything that you need. No matter the season. Getting there together. We are ready when you are. Crane Cares. Treatment for those with mental illnesses and addiction issues has evolved over the years. In the late 1960s, Indiana's mental health system began to take shape. From 1971 to 2021, Hamilton Center has touched the lives of thousands of people. In central and west central Indiana, we are committed to the latest therapies to improve the quality of life for those with mental illnesses. Treatment works. Recovery is possible. And thank you, Indiana. Hi, welcome to Sonic. May I take your order? Two Sonic grilled cheeseburgers. I'm on it. Order up. Sonic grilled cheeseburger ready for pickup. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives and led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. 
And fans, the 14th annual Indiana Class Basketball All-Star Classic is June 17th and 18th at oh, Anderson yeah. University. This is an invitation-only event for the best basketball players in Indiana, and it's free to the student-athletes. There are four games per day. The boys will play Friday the 17th, and graduating seniors at 10 o'clock. The Futures, which are freshmen and sophomores, at 12.30, and two juniors games at 3 and 6 p.m. The girls will play Saturday the 18th with a 10 o'clock senior game, the Futures freshman and sophomore game at 12.30, and two junior games at 3 and 6 o'clock. Last year, we had 34 colleges represented at the game and 38 watching our telecast for a total of 72 college coaches evaluating players here on Indiana Sports Network. Three games each day. The Futures and two junior games can be seen live on Indiana Sports Network. And again, that's June 17th and 18th at Anderson University. I've had a chance to do those ball games. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. Get to see the best players in Indiana and uh, the best young players. That's the key. So these guys get a chance to play in front of their uh, in front of college coaches. Last year, Christian Johnson was in attendance uh, in one of the Futures games. And I, I could be wrong, but I think that Javon uh, Buchanan was there last year as well yeah. in one of the Juniors games. Memory serves. So, you know, you know we see uh, some guys that, uh, that in this game that played in that uh, venue. It's a, it's a great atmosphere and a beautiful gymnasium, O.C. Lewis Gymnasium. It's a gorgeous uh, 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 facility, gracious host year in and year out. So, looking forward to that event again here at the Indiana Sports Network. With Coach Shelsky taking a, a trip towards the locker room, not able to come out and coach, Mitch Simmons has uh, come in and taken over some of those duties. If you remember Mitch, he was a head basketball coach at Riverton Park for several years. Yeah. So he's, he's well versed in being a head basketball coach. Shot up and no good this time by Jalon Spencer. And the rebound comes out. Harper needed to shoot that one right Here's away. It. He has open looks. You're going to have to shoot it. And he can't be doing that stuff with it. Ball outside. Johnson gets the basketball in the corner. Ren Harper can put it in. He can score at will. And he's going to have to do it. There's a three-pointer by Harper. Can't get it to go. But that's not as good a look as he had Wood with the steal and the putback lay-in. And it's 22-12. How about Anthony Woods staying with it, uh, being scrappy as he always is, and getting that little put back off with the turnover. Armani Williams back outside. The Spencer back to Williams. Outside, shot by Linder. He puts it up and in, and it's a three-point basket. It's 25 to 12. First three-point uh, shot made by Lafayette Jaffe was leaning to the left. Didn't matter. <laughs> Wood with the basketball in the corner. Noble Johnson back to Christian. Loose. Harper with the drive, and he stopped in that short corner area. I'd like to see Dangerous. him kind of keep turning that thing on and draw some contact. Mm -hmm. Christian Johnson using the screen from his brother Noble, and he doesn't have anything. Christian, quick move into the hole. Got it up, can't get it. Got his own rebound, put it up in the end. And that's what... That's what Park Heritage needs, a good aggressive move to the baskets, 11 point, Lafayette Jefferson lead. That time Buchanan uh, uh, was away from the, the, the basket, so made it a little bit easier to get that off as a board. Back on the outside again, Preston, they'll kick it back again, Linder hit a three, he'll take another one, he can't get it, rebound comes out to Harper. See him leaning to the left again. Harper with the drive, he'll kick it back outside to loose. Brayton loose, gives it up. It's Johnson, Noble, spin, pump, got off balance, he'll go to the line. That's four team fouls on Armani Williams. Uh, four, excuse me, not team fouls, four individual fouls. He's got to be very frustrated, saying, man, what I got to do to try to stay in this game? Of course, Barnheiser, uh, a little disgusted as well. He's telling the man, quit drawing contact on that guy and up yep. off the bench immediately for a Lafayette yeah. Jeff is Eddie Reese. And Reese played uh, decently in that uh, first half as uh, you replace 6-2 with uh, a little bit uh, more girth with 6-6 in a leaner frame. And, and uh, he's going to 
capitalize on your opportunities. Reese has an opportunity here tonight to get some extra minutes. Reese averaging 10 sooks a game. He's the second leading scorer in average for Lafayette Jefferson. 10 point lead now for the Broncos. Noble Johnson, three points in the game, all from the free throw line. Reese at the free throw line there. Back outside, here's Preston. They're working that three-man game. They'll give it up. Nice feed down inside, yeah. an easy layup for Jalon Spencer. And that was a good look down there on the baseline. Just working the uh, offense, finding your spots. Wood, he'll turn the corner, kick out, loose. Should have oh, put God, that put one up. up. That's his shot, too, yes. in the corner. He's got to take that one. Even and though he's a freshman, he's on the floor. He's going to have to take those shots when given the opportunity. Loose looking at a backdoor cut to Harper. Couldn't get it to him. Wood. Pump. Holds up out to Loose. Noble Johnson. Loose for three. He got it. Braden Loose, the freshman, cans a three-pointer, and the lead's cut to single digits. It's 27 to 18. And that's what that young man can do. He can shoot it. Just has to be confident with his throat. With the drive, wow. blocked. Shots blocked, and that probably was a foul. They yeah. didn't get one called. Mm -hmm. Wood on the outside in the corner. Kicks it out. Noble Johnson thought about it, <laughs> and that is one of them he'll take. Outside to Christian. He'll take that three-point shot. And Johnson hits the three. Cuts the lead down to six. It's 27-21. Two three-pointers this half for Park Heritage already the first 64 minutes of the quarter. Buchanan with the three. That misses. Rebound to Reese. He oh, it 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 and a technical it. foul as Reese yeah. is jawing in the game, and he's called for the tee. Yeah, he's jawing with Noble Johnson on that putback. He said something. He's going to get yanked now. Yep. He <laughs> will get yanked, and in comes uh, number 42. That's Parker Rossi, the big fella on for Lafayette Jeff, and he'll come into the ball game. And immediately, immediately they put in another player. So they're talking over at the bench is Coach Mark Barnheiser, and he is really upset with what's going on. Johnson can free throws. He's got first one in. He's upset. He, he, yeah, that's why I was. I found it very interesting. That after being uh, gate from the game, we went to the well, referee to to, ha to, to, take, to stay his peace close to Coach Barnheiser. So I, I, I that was a, a, a gutsy maneuver there by the the reserve senior uh, to have some extra words there. I know he's pleading his case, but maybe that's not the right time. Man defense by Lafayette Jeff Tony Wood. Brings the ball over the 10-second line. Gives it out. First time we've seen Max Dowd in the ball game for Park Heritage. Johnson. Christian with the basketball. Cross court. Gives it up to loose for three. He puts it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Kicked out and stolen away. Inside. Dowd with the rebound. Put back. And Max Dowd scores two. Leads cut to four. And Park Heritage is on a run, and they're playing very aggressive here in the third period. Inside, and you can hear the crowd starting to get into it. Shots up, no good. Rebound comes out to Tony Wood. Wood gives it up to Noble. Noble hands it off to Christian, and they'll start the offense one more time. Christian trying to drive it. He, he'll try to drive on about anybody. Wood with a basketball. Again, loose. Wood again in the corner. Screen. Wood turns the corner, kick out. Moose was open. He'll drive. He'll kick it in the corner. Good ball reversal down for oh, three, but boy. he's blocked. Williams from almost that free throw <laughs> line just came hauling over and blocked that shot. That's why when you're loose and you're in the corner uh, and you have Linder in front of you, you have to put that up. Because Linder can't do that off the rotation. Buchanan comes out of nowhere and blocks it. Boy, when you have to open three, if you're a three-point shooter, you have to take the shot. Loose. 
Gives it back up, Johnson again. Christian, pull up from 15, shots up and good! And they cut the lead to two with 29, 27. Christian to shoot over him all day long. Brady Preston at 6'1". Uh, that's the matchup that uh, Johnson would love to have every time. Linder playing catch outside with Spencer. Spencer will take the three, puts the shot up, and Spencer draws it right down in. Jalon Spencer for three. A very poised team, back up to five, responding with a made bucket, Spencer. Oh, no, almost stolen away. Christian saves that one. And again, John, excuse me, Christian trying to work down on the inside against Buchanan. Christian for three in the corner, doesn't get it. Rolls in and out. Yeah, faded to that corner, had a good look. 32-27. Park Heritage with the with, uh, trails against Lafayette Jeff. They've cut the lead back down. Another good ball movement for Lafayette Jeff. Yeah. And a three-point shot is up and good by Brady Preston. 35-27. Outside, they'll give it up loose for three. Puts it up, can't get it to go. The three back comes out to Buchanan. It's a good shot. Once again, you have somebody in your uh, periphery that you can shoot over, you gotta take that shot. And you have to, to look at scoring, and Lafayette Jeff, the last three times down the floor, has taken good shots, but more importantly, they've hit them. There's another one. Another good shot, nope. Rebound, and it's blocked inside. Pull back out, loose with the basketball. Boy, I thought that was going down. Just a little short, but it looked good. 35 seconds in Park Heritage Base, slow for the last shot. And again, Coach Barnheiser telling him, close the gap, make him drive. 24 seconds left to go. Crossover. Johnson turns the corner, pulls it in, wow. kicks it out, open look down. Can't get it. Rebound tipped around, and they're going to call a foul. It'll stay oh. Park Heritage basketball. I thought that was going to be on Christian Johnson, but they got a hold. Oh, that foul no. will go against Parker Rossi, who had checked into the ball game. They list him. It says six foot. I think that should be six eight. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah, bigger than so the so. other two guys that have been in the ball game. Right. And I'll tell you what. You bring a junior off the bench. There's only been a couple juniors playing this ball game for Jeff. 13 seconds left to go in the first half uh, and in third quarter, excuse me. 27 for Park Heritage, 35 for Jeff. <laughs> Three point basket, Christian Johnson, and it's 35 30 as we'll go to the fourth period here from Rockville. I need a mocha crunch blast, please. You guys. I'm on the mocha crunch. We're gonna need more espresso chunks. Order up. Sonic mocha crunch blast. At Lynn's Pharmacy, we're more than just your pharmacist. We're your neighbors. Our kids go to the same schools. We eat at the same restaurants. We sit next to you in church. When I listen to a symptom. When I fill a prescription. When I offer advice, I'm not just helping a customer. I'm helping my neighbor and a friend. My name is Lynn Hofstetter, and I'm the proud owner of Lynn's Pharmacy, a modern pharmacy with old-fashioned values and personal service dedicated to keeping you, your family, and our community healthy since 1872. Here at Lynn's Pharmacy. Downtown Brazil. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. <laughs> we want to thank the Crane Credit Union, close to each of our blocks, the Hamilton Center, Indiana Army National Guard, Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, and their uh, agent, Micah Bonomo, Lynn's Pharmacy, Sonic Drive-In, Union Health, and York Automotive. Transportation for Indiana Sports Network is provided by York Automotive with five locations in Brazil, Greencastle, Crawfordsville, and Plainfield. And hey, you probably ought to see Jason Lear. He's the guy at York Automotive that comes to almost every Park Heritage basketball game. Boy, this is a good one to be at. This is a five-point deficit for Park Heritage with the ball outscoring Lafayette Jets 20 to 13 in that third quarter to close that gap. Buchanan guarding Christian Johnson. Noble with the basketball. Back out to Wood. They're trying to get the ball. 
And again, Christian Johnson, hot hand. He's hit a couple threes. And immediately they put the big one on. Johnson again. Can't get it. Rebound Wood. Puts the shot up. No. Rebound. And it's taken away by Buchanan, who went up high to get that one. It's been a little while since Buchanan had a look, hasn't it? It really has. A couple of guys on the outside have taken them. Yep. It's not because. With the drive inside is Linder. He'll feed down low post, and it's stolen away by Christian Johnson. Johnson, he could pull this one up. He didn't. Looking, trying to get him off balance with the drive. Puts the shot up. Can't get it. That's a pretty good look. He just couldn't get it to fall. We'll take that every, every time. One minute gone here in the fourth period. A five-point Lafayette Jeff lead. You can't a pass inside to Linder, and they'll pull it back out with the drive. Oh, he took it out of bounds. And stolen away, another turnover. Behind, he's got a trailer, and they just called the foul. Oh, quit. Noble Johnson felt the contact, and it went down. <laughs> that, was a, that was not a foul, folks. He well, sold that so well. He felled him <laughs> and stuck his left leg out. He oh, did have wow. contact, but it was after the ball had left. Yeah play Absolutely. by the young man. <laughs> Foul will give the basketball back outside to Park Heritage. Noble Johnson will pull him back out as he's guarded by Brady Preston. On the outside is Luce. Braden Luce. I think Luce might have uh, caught Spencer with an elbow inadvertently. Or at least Spencer put his, jabbed his head back like he did. Outside, and again, Luce, he'll yes, let sir. it fly for three. Can't get Good it to shot. go. Good shot, though, Herb. Go the other side. Those and open looks. There are several players that can do that. A yeah. timeout's been called. 35-30. Park Heritage within five when we return on Indiana Sports Network. Hey, this is Todd Hine with LaborLink. The federal unemployment benefits have ended. However, there has never been a better job market in history. This puts you in an incredible position. Go to GoLaborLink.com and apply now. We have many jobs available, but they will fill up fast due to demand. Hey, take advantage of the job market and start work right away with LaborLink. Home, it can be the family farm, a small town, or a busy city. But wherever you call home, we are where you are. Ready to serve you and your family. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. Lafayette Jeff with the basketball after that timeout called. So change of defense here by Coach Chelsea. Linder feeds down inside. Open look for Spencer. Flat. Puts the shot up. No good. Rebound to Noble Johnson. Like a pancake that was flat. Almost taken away. Ren Harper with a crossover with the drive. Puts it up and in. And he's fouled. The freshman takes that charge of that one. Made basket. He'll go to the line. Ren Harper saw the matchup, uh, and he had uh, Parker Rossi in front of him uh, and uh, went to the to the hole. Now the end one opportunity. Got it up, no oh. good. Tipped around and picked up by Buchanan. Mark Heritage has come away with some scrappy play here early on. They missed an open man in the low post. They're going to try it again. Still trying to put the ball in the low post. Cross court, open look for three is Linder, got it. Whew. Owen Linder has uh, hit three threes here today, and this is a young man uh, that uh, shoots uh, the ball very well from the outside. 38-32, a six-point lead. Fort Lafayette, Jeff trying to use the screen. They don't have to. They'll kick it out. Look out. And he's held up. That's oh, a tough no. one. It's tipped away. And out of bounds, a nice play by Brady Preston. Yeah, but it was a good job. And Wood picked up his dribble and he didn't need to. And that's just put himself uh, in a little bit of a trick bag there. Is uh, fortunate to, uh, to come away with the basketball just down six, under five minutes to go. Wood with the drive. He'll kick out to loose. I want to see him take that shot. 
in the lane, turn around, puts it up and in. Braden loose for two, cuts the lead to four. It's 38-34. Jeff with the basketball. Linder feeding the corner. Now they'll get it to Buchanan. And it's really odd. Buchanan has not touched the ball very often in, this, in the offensive set. Yeah. Ooh, that was a brick. Up and again. Rebound to Johnson. Johnson inside. Has it over the man outside. Christian. Pump. He'll drive. Puts up a 17-footer. He's yeah. fouled. He'll go to the line. Late call, but Ross, who did get him with the body um, and on the contest, it's just the hard cover for uh, uh, for Parker Rossi is Christian Johnson will get to the free throw line. Boy, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised that we don't go back to Armani Williams. I know he has the four fouls in this situation, uh, but Parker Rossi is having a hard time out there uh, offensively and defensively hurt. Well, still with four minutes left to go. I, you wait for another minute I don't and a half. Another second. I know, but I just right now Park Heritage is, has some aggression on yeah. offense as well. Yeah. It's not just the defensive end, and Buchanan is not the guy they're going through, which is very odd to me. Looking at him, his numbers, all the things he does on the basketball yep. floor, put that guy down there and let him have the basketball, and they haven't done it. I know uh, uh, Lin uh, Linder has been uh, shooting the ball very well this second half. That takes a few looks away from Buchanan, but still. Buchanan for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Nope, it's going to go off the back. It'll end up being Park Heritage basketball with a chance to tie or take the lead. And here comes Williams. Yeah, you have to. You just absolutely have to. Uh, Parker Rossi, unfortunately, not able to give him anything on either end of the floor, to be honest with you. So uh, here you have what Williams... Well, uh, with that, Marco, see how he uh, makes an imprint in this game. And with Reese getting the technical foul, I don't think that uh, Coach Barnheiser is going to put him back exactly. in the ball game. I, I don't think he will either. And so that's why, um, you know, you, you had Rossi there for Loose so long. for three. Can't get it. Rebound very high was Johnson. He yeah. skied on that one. Went over the back of, of uh, Buchanan, and Buchanan will walk to the other end. First team foul for Park here in the, in the second half. half. That's, <laughs> that's not necessarily good because they're yeah. not going to force them to go to the line. So they're going to need to commit some fouls here to get them yeah. close to the one and bonus. That also means you can be very aggressive defensively, not only causing problems with uh, the aggression, but also making them take the ball around there. The kick. Transportation for Indiana Sports Network is provided by York Automotive with five locations in Brazil, Greencastle, Crawfordsville, and Plainfield. I'd like to see Park here just go man and press up uh, because with this uh, the, the, this trap, it's going to be hard. Oh, boy, that's tough. Yeah. And that's what they needed to do, oh and they boy. finally did it. Let's put the ball in Buchanan's yeah. hands, let him drive and deal, and he did so. Boy, with this trap, it's just very tough. Um, you get that short corner like that, and what are you going to do? So, and he can go over the top of yeah. anybody on the floor, and that's the difference. And a three-point play. Nice play by Lafayette Jeff, and they set the half-court trap up. And this is where they were dangerous in that first half. Good ball movement for Park Heritage. You're going to allow them to potentially score on this. Inside, nope, out. It's Wood back outside to Johnson for three. A puts short. a shot up, air ball it. Way short. Just a little bit too far out of his range. And that's a tough one. 41 36 is our score. Five point lead. Buchanan for three. Wow. Shot up, no good. Rebound, tipped around, picked up by Wood. That was a surprising take right there. Coming straight down, shooting the three, uh, up five with the ball. That was a little bit of a surprise for me. Well, they should have probably run down at least a minute or two in the clock. But they're not going to take that one. Lafayette Jefferson has left the, led the entire ball game by as many as 12. They scored, what, the first, what, seven or eight points of the game? Timeout. Timeout's Parker been called. We'll take one as well. 41-36, 158 left to go when we return on Indiana Sports Network. 
The big finish sales event is on now at your Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram on US Highway 40 in Brazil. Choose from over 500 new and certified pre-owned vehicles today. This month only, lock in 0% financing and no payment for 90 days. New Jeep Cherokee as low as $229 per month. New Ram 1500, $359 per month. Or sell us your vehicle for top dollar. Unwrap the savings at YorkCDJRBrazil.com. Stop by today and we'll show you why we're not number one, you are. We're not number one, you are. You're number one at York. The city of Brazil was founded in 1866. By 1876, there were two schools, seven dry goods stores, two hardware stores, four churches and five drugstores. One of those drugstores is still there today, Lynn's Pharmacy. Lynn's Pharmacy has grown from a small neighborhood drugstore to a modern pharmacy, offering prescriptions and medical equipment with old-fashioned values and unparalleled service. You can even step back in time and visit Lynn's Soda Parlor here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. Well, Lafayette Jeff has been in the driver's seat for the entire ball game. Park Heritage had one chance to take the lead, and it was here in the fourth period about two minutes ago. Couldn't get the shot to fall, but they battled back from a 12-point lead, and the Wolves have really made this one a good ball game here in the second half. And they really have. They've been scrappy. as boy, Park Heritage, when uh, you play them, you're in for a fight uh, because they don't just roll over and play dead. They've been very scrappy uh, here in this game as they uh, uh, always are. And like I said, they have an opportunity here, a bucket here to make it a one possession game. See if they can do it. Johnson in the corner, another feed it down into Noble and they threw it away. With the drive, shots up and good. And I'll tell you what, Buchanan just handled him. that very well on a drive. Yeah, they tried to foul him and couldn't get the call. And, Buchanan just using his uh, athletic ability and strength, his poise to get that bucket. They're going to move the ball around on the trap. Cross court, they'll give it up. Open look in the corner for Luce. Got it up, ah. can't get it to go. And the rebound comes out to Armani Williams. Foul, got a foul. Got they're a trying foul. to get some fouls, and a minute 18 left to go in the ball game. Timeout's been called. We'll take one as well. It's a full timeout when we return for more on Indiana Sports Network. Marcio Properties, Indiana Land and Lifestyle, Willow Dirt. Last year, this piece of property produced 50 acres of beans. It's a little low on nitrogen, and the pH is 6.8. <laughs> oh, and they also had cattle on here. When it comes to knowing your ground, isn't it important to have a realtor who does as well? And that's no bull. For all your Indiana land needs, check us out at indianalandandlifestyle.com. We are your Indiana land specialist. It could be anyone. The star student. The all-state athlete. I never thought it could happen to me, that I could lose everything. I found help. I found hope. I found recovery. I regained something lost. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. Well, Lafayette Jeff called the timeout, and rightfully so, as Coach Barnheiser is trying to milk this one down. This is a good ball, ball game for them, too. Yeah. It's a close enough ball game. They have to learn how to win these close ones in right. just consistent fashion. They'll take the ball out of bounds. Linder will have it in the backcourt. He'll work on Max Dow. Foul. foul him. And that game needs to go after, just go after the basketball yeah. and get the foul. Yeah. They're crossing up again outside his Buchanan. They'll get the quick foul. They need several more. Yeah. You got to have five more to stop yeah. the clock. <laughs> yeah, you got to just uh, go for the ball in every situation. If you get the foul, so what? They'll throw it to the back court and oh, almost they got side. He almost got the turnover there. Good defense on the inside, outside, but Noble Johnson picks up number four. That's number four, though. That's the problem. That's the tough. He needed somebody else to pick up a couple of fouls. That's only the fourth team foul. Yep. Got to get a couple more here. Down to immediately go get that one, and oh, Max backed off just too much. Give one. Get up tough, and they'll get the foul on Dowd. Still, you let six or seven seconds yeah. out, and... You do that 
three more times and it makes it almost impossible to come back on this one. And, and the referees know that you want to commit the foul, so if you swat at him, you're going to get a whistle for the most part. Wood. Take a swat. And again, outside See? with Spencer. That's a pretty good move. Yeah. You swat at the ball, they're going to call you because they know they know what you're doing. But if you just have your hands out and move your feet like you normally should do. <laughs> but if you do it out front, they don't take the ball in scoring position. Yep. They had a potential layup there and threw right. it clear outside to start it. And see, I'd love to commit a foul here. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all sitting in the middle. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. You're watching High School Basketball on the Indiana Sports Network, presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. 27.5 seconds left to go in the ball game. 44-38, Lafayette Jeff with the basketball and a six-point lead, and Park Heritage desperately needing a steal and a three. Guess who passed out water during that timeout? Eddie Reese. That's the way it's supposed to work. Hey, man, I, I, I'm just being – I'm just – that really impresses me, Herb, because I, you don't see that very often. You see a guy pouting, and he knows he's not getting back in the game. He's not involved with the team. He's not involved with the timeout. He's just kind of standing over to the side, messing around. Not any Reese. I, I give him a lot of credit for that tonight. Owen Linder will go to the line with the one and bonus. And Linder again, another solid player for Lafayette. Jeff puts that shot up and missed the front end. Christian Johnson with the rebound. He's in the front court. Johnson squares up on Buchanan. He'll drive, he'll shoot, and he'll go to the line. He got fouled. Really nice move. 16 seconds left to go in the ball game, and Christian Johnson goes to the line. That really doesn't help them as much as him taking a three. Right. It does stop the clock, well, but at the same time, they needed the extra points. They would have liked to see him, uh, I would have liked to see them uh, bring a screen to try to get a different matchup, having Buchanan on him, uh, pretty much eliminated the opportunity to come down and take a three, because Buchanan's length, he was stepping outside the three-point line, took that away, a force to drive. Missed the shot, rebound, it's fought for, picked up down with the ball, outside to Harper for three, got it! Ran to Harper for three, 10 seconds, they called the timeout, and it's a 30 the second, and we'll see. They're gonna change the clock. 12 seconds left to go, or 10 or 12 seconds left to go. Yeah. And we're gonna keep this one right here. Two point lead for Lafayette Jeff here at Park Heritage. You know, we'll when see, I see, see what the time's left on the clock, gonna, that's the big yeah, one. I, I would think it'd be around 11 or 12 seconds. I thought just 12 seconds. Um, and Park Heritage on that offensive rebound got away with a little bit of a nudge. Um, they were opportunistic, and Harper nails that big three to make it a one-possession game. And now, with uh, Lafayette Jeff, they're still in the one in bonus. So it's not two automatic shots. Park Heritage goes for the steal. If you don't get it, you get the foul. Make sure it's not Noble Johnson. Uh, and uh, send them to the free throw line if you don't get that turnover for a one in bonus and hopefully you get a miss or two. Well, and as aggressive as Park Heritage has played, they are susceptible to the over-the-top. Yep and a potential drive down the, the floor I and have Noah Johnson back. Yeah, but that, that's the tough part. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter who you have back. Well, Are you I, gonna throw it over the top to somebody? And here he is. He's played center field quite often. Wood is the guy who's played center field most of the time on a football team. So yeah, Noble Johnson is the guy back. They're denying full denial. They're gonna try to get it in there. Didn't get it to Buchanan inside, and they immediately call the foul. Mm -hmm. Only one second goes off the clock on that one, and Williams will go to the line to shoot the one in bonus. And Williams, I don't know if we've uh, seen him shoot free throws uh, here tonight. I don't think he's taken any. 
Uh, but uh, nonetheless, actually, you know, he actually did uh, knock down a couple of free throws in the first half. When you get Ren Harper back, uh, excuse me, uh, Brayden Luce back in the game. So if you get one miss, uh, then you'll have your three points here again. Stops up and good. How about that? It's a three point lead, 45 42. If you park here, if you call a timeout, if they make the free throw. Armani Johnson gets both free throws. Clutch. 11 seconds left to go. Johnson, he'll drive. Goes to the basket, puts it up and in. They don't have a timeout. They're going to have to immediately foul. They do. 3.4 seconds left to go. They put the two on the wrong Put the two on the wrong side. end. They'll move it back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, some people get, I'm just telling you, sometimes it gets excited. It's a three-point <laughs> lead, and it should be less than that. It should be down. It should be down to two. They put the wrong one on. They'll, score's not right. They're going to wait on this one. Yeah, you have to. There's about a 1,000 people here that uh, know what the <laughs> score is. <laughs> and the kids think they can add two. They're yelling at them just the same. There's still enough time to make this one really tight if you can and misses a free throw. He's got two of them, though. We'll see what's going on. They're checking the time, checking the score, make sure everybody's okay. And Coach Barnheiser said, hey, I want the score check, which he has the right yeah. to do at the end of the ball yeah, game. that's right. Big uh, free throws here is uh, you got two-shot foul, so uh, you don't have to worry about the one in bonus, so you get two shots here for, for two shots. Points. Crowd's loud. He misses the first one. That would close. Park Heritage has a chance to tie. Again, because of the fouls, it's a two-shot foul. Got to secure the rebound if he misses. Here we go. No timeouts left for Park Heritage. He misses shot number two. Oh, my. Balls up, and they're not going to get a shot off. Luce puts it up at the buzzer, but it was after the fact, and they couldn't get it in. And with that, a two-point victory for Lafayette Jeff from here at Park Heritage. Again, a great ball game. We got to see Park Heritage come back in this one and uh, do some damage here in the fourth period. He really did, and it's a great finish to this basketball game as Lafayette Jeff did just enough uh, to secure this two-point victory. Coach Barnheiser won't be pleased. He'll be happier with the first half than the second half, uh, to be sure. Well, it's a tough place to play, so with yep. that one, that's pretty good. We want to thank our camera operators for today's game. In Noah Gastineau, Dakota Sponsler, and Molly King. The video technician is Keith Lawson, are produced and directed tonight by Kanan Harper. We're a production of Indiana Sports Network. And again, my partner, Walter Gordon, I'm Herb King. We're really happy you had a chance to watch high school basketball here on the Indiana Sports Network. And you can't find a much better atmosphere than this one here at Park Heritage. And with that, we want to say so long from Rockville. Again, 46-44 was our score. And Lafayette Jeff, the two-point winner from Park Heritage. Again, so long, and we'll see you this next week. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. I need a mocha crunch blast. This game is presented by the Indiana Army National Guard. This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network.